before we start kind of willy-nilly diving into building dashboards in Data Studio and making charts and tables and all of that good stuff that I know you're eager to get to, let's talk about something foundational to Data Studio, and that's the idea of data sources. Um, and these are the pieces of data, whether it's a Google Sheet, um, a SQL database, a Google Analytics account, YouTube account, um, Google Search Console account, any of these different data sources that you can connect to Data Studio, and I'll show you how to connect those later. But first, let's talk about how to prepare a Google Sheet if you're using that as your data source for upload for connecting to Data Studio. Because my in this course, we'll work through connecting some Twitter data from a Google Sheet into Data Studio. And in my opinion, using Google Sheets to pull data together whether you're using you know, an add-on like Supermetrics or Blockspring or some custom code, you can pretty much get data from any source, MailChimp, Twitter, Facebook, whatever it is, into a Google Sheet and then push it back up to Data Studio. So understanding how to, use, how to set up um, data sources in Google Sheets for Studio is really important. And there's really only a couple things that you, you have to do right. Um, when you set this up. The first thing is, um, you'll see later on that with things like filters in Data Studio, it's really important to have all of the data that you're going to be working with around a specific source into one tab and have all of it there. Don't have it split among separate tabs. You'll go crazy kind of trying to put them together and you're, you won't be able to build charts out of them. You can only build a chart, a table, um, a filter, whatever it is, out of one specific tab in a spreadsheet. One tab is equal to one data source. So if you'll see here in this uh, tweet Twitter sheet, we have all of the our tweets in one tab. It's for you know it's for a number of different users across a number of different dates, but we have all of our tweets in one tab and they're consolidated in one kind of data model. Um, so we can really quickly connect this data source. The second thing to do when you're connecting uh, a Sheets data source to Data Studio is if you're working with dates, make sure your dates, let's zoom in on this real quick, make sure your dates are in this, this format of year, 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 dash, date, date, dash, month, month, slash, oh, sorry, dash, month, month, dash, date, date. Um, I think that there are other data date styles that I've seen work in Data Studio, but I find it's easiest to just really standardize this, have your dates always in this format, and Data Studio will be able to recognize them. Um, and if you need to get them into that format, let me show you the formula that we used here. The key here is the text function. Um, so it it kind of looks like a bunch of gobbledygook here. Let me X out of this. But what, what's really happening here is we're using the text function. This first clause is um, we're kind of stripping out, stripping out the actual date because Twitter data here is is in this kind of goofy. Um, I think it's ISO date format. So we're stripping it out. We use text. Uh, mid and right, not not super important to know this Google Sheets stuff, but what you do need to know is this text function. So it's text, the date, and then year, year, month, month, date, date. We'll put this date in the correct format that we see here to be used in Data Studio. So those are really the only couple things that you need to know to, um, to get a Google Sheets data source ready for Data Studio. Have everything in one tab. Um, that, that is the same type of data. So you have one tab per data source and have your dates in this year, 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 month, month, date, date format so you can connect them to Data Studio.